Hey, what's up guys? Dan here and welcome to my sneaker reviews. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Nike Air Icarus OG 2016 retro release. It's the 25th anniversary of the Icarus this year. The shoe actually originally dropped back in 1991. So Nike's brought it back this year for the 25th anniversary with a retro release of this classic early 90s running shoe. It dropped a bit earlier this year. I didn't get my hands on it when it first came out. It wasn't until a couple of weeks ago which I was shopping online for some other shoes and I came across a photo of this shoe here on foot, couldn't pass it up. I found a reseller on eBay, looked it up, made sure it was all legit, ordered it from the States, came in yesterday, and here it is. Now, the shoe actually dropped in two colorways. The other one is more of a white. It's got vault with a bit of purple on the heel and on the tongue. I've gone in for the white, black, and bright crimson for the red. As far as materials go, we've got soft suede on the white upper. The black section is like a stretchy neoprene. On the insole, it's a soft kind of cotton and it's white. That is gonna get pretty dirty pretty quickly, especially with this soft suede. So make sure you are using a sneaker protector. Some cool features of the shoe. The shoe doesn't have an air bubble, obviously. If you look on the, uh, the outer heel there, it's got air imprinted into the outer heel. Also on bottom sole, it's got the Nike Air symbol with two more pieces of the bright crimson red. I really like the swoosh on this shoe. It's really long, ties all the way into the heel of the shoe back here, a lot longer than say an, an Air Max 90 or an Air Max 1. Um, I do have a size 10, so it probably makes that look a bit bigger as well. Really like the, the Nike Air in bright crimson stitched on the black heel. It really stands out, really pops. That stitching is very vibrant, also on the tongue of the shoe as well. For the overall design, guys, very simplistic looking shoe. It's a very clean colorway. It has a really early 90s feel to it. I absolutely love this shoe. You don't even have to know about the original Icarus to know that this is an early 90s shoe. You just take one look at it and it looks retro. Just the design on it has that feel. I grew up in the early 90s, so anything from that era is really nostalgic for me. So it's something I really wanted to get my hands on. One thing that does give it that feel is the fact that they use the bright crimson as the red, as opposed to the infrared or more of the gym red, which could be a little bit deeper. The bright crimson is a bit more electric. Electric kind of fluorescent colors is really something that was used a lot in the early 90s. If you've ever watched any early 90s uh, kids shows, any cartoons, you will remember the fluoro squiggles and graphics which they used to draw all over which would be usually on the intros of TV shows. That's something that, that this kind of reminds me of. As far as for the on foot section what I'm going to wear with this shoe, I'm straight up going to be pairing this with something black. There's a lot of black on the shoe already, on the toe, on the heel, so for me it makes perfect sense just to, to make the leg section black out. It's going to tie in nicely with those black sections and it's going to make that uh, bright crimson really pop. You could probably pair it with, if you want to go for the full retro 90s look, you could probably pair it with light blue denim. Uh, maybe maybe light acid wash would go well with it or something more modern like a camo. Let's talk. Let's get into the on foot section. Let's see what it looks like. You can see what I'm pairing it with. So let's get into it guys. Alright, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you think about the Icarus. Leave a comment. Are you feeling it? Are you not? 
If you like the video and you want to see more of my sneaker reviews, hit subscribe, hit like on this video. You can find me on Instagram at Danny underscore Fox. Follow my lifestyle blog at The High Life Co. Plenty more great content coming out on our website, www.thehighlifecollective.com. That's it from me. I'll see you guys next time.